gentlemen, now we after our kings. It is the time for our queen. And queen is NLP queen when I say none other than Dimple Ahoja. Well, this personality is really, really doing wonders. And I have attended one of his NLP session and trust me, one of the bestest NLP coach I ever met in my life. International coach, life coach, NLP queen. Here is Dimple Ahuja from Canada. Thank you. Thank you so much, Supriya. Thank you for a great introduction. And thank you, Dr. Dragon. Thank you, Macedonian Association, everyone for inviting me to be at this amazing global conference. I'm really, really honored to see all learned people and listen so much from everyone. Really appreciate Thomas, your story, Pawan, your share, Freeman, amazing tips, Mr. Subo for meditation. And I think some are doing a very good breathing exercise. So we have covered almost everything and I'm here to wind up and compile the things in a proper way so that we all know what we need to do. And I must appreciate Supriya and everyone and all global participants that we have taken a topic, a very hot topic for discussion. That is the mental health. This is the concept or the topic which has not received that significance or importance or attention that has affected our significance in our lives, right? So we all live in the moment of, you know, joy, then there is fear, then there is sadness, then there is emotional thing Eva talked about. All these things are integrated in our life and how this mental health is going to affect us and what it is. How do we know that we are having the mental health issues? How do we know we need help? If we need help, where to go? We all have lots of discussion. So where to go? How do we know what we are facing? And I'll show you simple NLP techniques. Since I'm an NLP coach and a trainer and a life coach, so I'll do a small techniques like uh, what Sama did, a breathing pattern and other things. So fun full sessions. I would like you to make me a co-host so that I can share my small presentation. Supriya? Yeah. You are. Thank you. Thank you so much. So this is what we are talking today and we all have so many definitions and understood and we understood that how are we going to cope the challenges of our life? This is all we all have discussed. Even Eva discussed, Pavan and Freeman and Thomas, we are going to learn to cope with the challenges of the life. It is that what mental health means. It is not just like WHO also said, it is just the absence of mental disorder or disability. It is about how are we coping it. So if, how do we find out if being an NLP way or a scientific coach way, more important for a common person for us is how do we feel right now? What are we thinking and how are we behaving? That means how are we taking the information from the outside world and what are we talking to ourselves that is a linguistic what are we thinking and how we are behaving so if we can manage these three things how are we feeling today if i'm feeling good calm relaxed i'm at the peak of my mental health if i'm able to cope up all the stress and challenges of my life i am at the peak if i am positive and i'm planning for my future we talked about planning here so that means we are in the peak and I'm having my self-esteem is high. I'm learning well. And more important is how are we contributing to the community? What are we taking care of ourselves? How are we taking care of ourselves? And what are we doing with the community people? Someone also discussed, like I think Pavan took a very good point is who is helping you? That person himself needs to know what that person is feeling and taking the world information. If I'm confident enough to cope up 
all the challenges of my life, be it anything. If I'm optimistic, I'm setting up my goals, I'm not blaming myself, that means I am at the peak of my mental health. That means I'm good, my mental health is good. But sometimes, how do you know that I need some help? I might need some assistance. And we all discussed the assistance. I'll come to it, the treatments and discussion. But the thing is, how do you know that you are having some problem? Sometimes what happens is I'm not the way I am. This is what I noticed in myself. When I moved to Canada, I was before in Mumbai, working in a corporate industry from last 30 years. I was so confident. I felt like I can be the prime minister of India. You know, at that age, I thought I can take over the world. I can do anything. And then I noticed after a few years that confidence has gone down. I'm sleeping too much. I'm eating at random, putting on weight, consistently low energy. Don't feel like talking to anybody. Don't feel like, you know, going with the family, get together. No friends, no more. And I'm not enjoying the way I used to enjoy my life. And then I thought of, okay, something is bothering me, you know. We also hear some voices, that self-negative talk. I'm not good enough. I cannot do it. This place is boring. I wanted to go back. I wanted to do this. And I'm so confused. What should I do? Even the norm normal daily routine work, we are confused sometimes. What should I cook? Simple. What should I wear? Whom should? What should I do? I don't have a goal. I don't have a thing. That means... These all things shows us the sign that we need to take care of ourselves. We need to take care of our mental health. And most important, the outburst is the anger and the fear. I love this because I have been gone through anger, tremendous anger. I was very angry. My anger was always here. I keep on shouting on my husband, my kids. And in every presentation, I keep on telling them, I really feel bad how I handled. And it was affecting my physical health also. Obviously, anger, helplessness. I feel like crying. Like 7 o'clock in the evening when things are dull. You feel like, oh, I don't want to do anything. You feel like crying. And people cry also. Even my clients, when they come to me, they always say that in the evening, I don't feel like doing anything. So all these helplessness, when you are getting angry, you don't know what is happening in the body. And then you feel, you think that is the time where you need to take care of yourself. That is the time where we need to listen all these expertise, what we are talking in. How do I know? If somebody says, why do I need a mental health? Why do I need to see a therapist? Why should I do meditation? And even in meditation, as Sir shared and so many people shared, some people will say, I can't do meditation. It's that simple as that. I'm also a yoga practitioner and a Reiki practitioner. And we do yoga and mindfulness sessions for the corporates as well. And wherein we talk about, people normally come and say, I cannot meditate. That means you cannot go inside in your body, which is having so many of sensations, so many of disturbance, which you don't know what to do with. We don't know what to do with our body sensations. We are not aware of how to take care of our mind, what Freeman was telling us. How do we know we need to control all this? So to be, to understand all these things, that means we need some, we have some anxiety issues. So major health issues, if you see, that is very, very common in nowadays is anxiety. It is depression, bipolar disorder, and post-traumatic stress disorder. And most, most important nowadays is, my dear friends on the global platform, is depression. You talk to anybody here in Canada, Canadians, if you talk to them, they'll say everybody is depressed. You, you, it's a very common thing. We have, uh, you know, taken it as, yeah, depression is normal. It's like, how, how cannot we be stressed? We are always stressed. So I would normally feel as like depression is the major, major cause of mental health and it's increasing. It's good that we are globally meeting, discussing such good, good topics, such learner to our session. I really appreciate everybody sharing their part. And we women are more depressed, you know, than men. 
because once these men when they are depressed outside they come to home and they vent out vent out on us and we get more depressed we are depressed because of our body feeling our sensation we are also depressed oh my husband is worried we are depressed our kids are not doing well we are depressed we are not good in the society social economical thing and we are that is why we are more depressed these men you know these all pavan and everybody they are very good giving lecture but once you go home they are venting out they get relieved you need to speak this is what we are talking and these men come home and speak and vent out and we take up everything we are very strong you know we all women are very strong to take up our thing our kids our family and everybody and that is why we are more depressed than others and i love 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 this topic why are you depressed well freeman you spoke about stop you somebody spoke about cry so every explanation i my favorite is fear why are why are so many people globally depressed what is depression why are we taking medicine if we start taking care of our depression from a childhood when we were ch children or rather let's start taking care of our children depression comes from fear if you have fear you will be stressful if you are stressful you will be anxious if you are have anxious anxiety you will be depressed if you are depressed for a longer time you will start taking medicine so it is so simple that fear i want to explain fear like stop he did it says what does fear means if you check up the dictionary fear there's no word like fear and we are fearful for the life i am i was fearful what will happen for the future whether our kids are going to take care of us or not i am fearful for my economic freedom i am fearful i'm putting on weight i am fearful for so many things and the kids they are fearful to talk to the people in school there's lot of competition for teenagers lot of com everybody is fearful of something or the other and what does this fear stands for f stands for false a e stands for emotion false emotions appearing real nothing there's nothing called fear we all have all the resources in our body and that's what mr subod said you have to go inside by meditation find everything in your body we have all the resources the only thing is we don't know how to take care of it the only thing is we don't know what pavan said how to take care of our sensations so fear is nothing it is just your body is giving you signals is body is giving you signs that something wrong is happening be prepared our unconscious mind our mind is preparing us for the worst and we get scared oh we are fearful and we are not taking care of that sensation it become we become stressful then we say we are stressed we are not taking care of the stress we say that it's normal then we are anxious if we are not taking care of it then we get depressed and then we finally we say this is normal stress is normal depression is normal so we need to go inside a body and find out the root cause and the sensations the reason why i am feeling fearful and believe me our body is saving us our body is saving us from the worst and they are giving us the signals and we are not understanding those signals it's as simple as that so tr what i am trying to say is we need to attend address these signals and why are these signals coming first of all economic pressure there's lot of social pressure for kids for social media instagram facebook all these for teenagers to perform well there's lot of competition on global platforms so there's lot of social and economic pressure then there's also a childhood adversity even the parental loss i was stressed i was not happy i was feeling bored because i lost my dad so early when i was 15 16 when we when was the time for me to you know enjoy life and do something 
we, we, I had that thing. So this parental loss or a separation, people, children, those who are seeing this, or anybody, their grandparents or somebody is ill, all these things are affecting and making that child fearful. And that fear is accumulating in that body and they are becoming stressful. They are anxious. And sometimes it is biological also. But that is very rare. That is very rare. So what I mean to say is, even from the childhood till now, we should take care of our body, our sensation. And why is it a problem? It's okay if everybody is depressed, everybody is anxious, it's okay. No, it's not okay. And that is why we are here. Everybody has quoted it, it's not okay, right? And that is why we are discussing all this. Because if we have this problem globally, we are going to have broken families, poverty, unemployment, and most important is our immune system, our physical health. Our immune system is go is will not be functioning well. I will not be having good relationships. Even Harvard study has also proven that if you are having good relationships, you are happy. You are happy. Happiness quotient is coming there. So we are not going to be having a good relationship with others, with friends, with co-workers. And most important, immune system and a communication. A communication is hampered. Have you seen people, you know, they are talking in a different way. They are more, some people, you are a great, you speak well. All these things, your communication with an interaction with others, this is all going to affect if we are having this. So is there a treatment? We all spoke about meditation, this. Is there a treatment for mental health? It is there. Believe me, it's there. But it is not generalized. You cannot have simple cough and have a medicine. It's not a headache wherein you take a simple known medicine and every. It, what works for one person might not work for you. What is working for me might not work for you. So that is why, because my mental health thing was, I lost my dad when I was early. I was angry with God. I was angry with people. Why me? We always say that, right? Why me? Not feeling gratitude, not knowing what all I had. But all these things clubbed me. And then I decided one day, enough is enough. I need to take care of myself. I need to see why I'm feeling this sensation in my body. Like Ed Thomas said, we need to see how can I be the best version of myself? How can I take care of this? I don't want to take medicine. So basically, everybody has a different treatment or a therapy for that. So that is why we do psychotherapy or we have therapists or we have professionals, healthcare professionals to whom you can talk. But before going to them, you can help yourself also. That's what we are doing this conference. You can help yourself. And everybody has discussed so many good things. So I'll just summarize that and say that, make that small changes which we are saying. And what I'm saying is, listen to your body first. Before doing any meditation, what Sir said, Pavan said self-talk, then Sir was talking about meditation, then we were having uh, self-love, self-care. First see, what is happening in your body? body What is happening? What is the problem? Pay attention to your feelings and then be notice that feelings and stay active like do yoga, walking, sleeping well, eating well, balanced diet and relaxation techniques, deep breathing, meditation, mindfulness this we talk about and most important in deep breathing we call it as box breathing. What is a box square? Four inhale. Let's do that, a smaller one. Inhale at the count of four. One, two, three, four. Hold at the count of four. One, two, three, four. Exhale at the count of four. Four, three, two, one. And then hold again. One, two, three, four. Simple. Simple box breathing. Four, inhale, exhale, holding and back. This helps you deep breathing, do meditation, do yoga. As meditation, we spoke about in detail. So I will not elaborate. 
mindfulness, see what is happening in your mind. Freeman also spoke about this. And do generally, write down as just now discussed. Have a paper pen, write down what are you feeling right now. I always tell people for self-help, no? people here were discussing early morning do things. Being an NLP practitioner and a life coach and into a yoga and Reiki, what I think is your day should start at night. At night, before you go to bed, I have also shared a technique how to do that. Feel gratitude for whatever happened. The whole day has passed. Feel the touch of the bed. Say thank you to God. Say thank you for everything, whatever the day was. And think positive. And in that sense, you sleep. When you sleep in that way, what is going to happen? Your unconscious mind will do that self-talk and think whole night with it. So instead of you are doing meditation for five minutes in the morning, if you start doing meditation at night and sleep, whole night and you, you are in that trance state. So you're spending 10 minutes and eight hours of good sleep. When we do meditation in our sessions, people say that I cannot sleep, I'm not able to sleep. And then in one session, they'll say, we slept so well, never it has happened. You go into the trance and your body listens to your unconscious mind. So your unconscious mind is working eight hours to take care of your meditation. So you will start doing this. And self-help may practice self-love. We spoke about, Pavan spoke very nicely about self-talk and self-help. Self-love is very important. This is what every day morning, I'm looking good. I'm good. You have heard of Sister Shivani and Sadhguruji. Every time they keep on talking, self-compassion, self-love, I'm a pure soul, I'm happy, I'm blessed. So this is what we are giving reminder to our brain, to our unconscious mind. You are that. And that is what just now Freeman explained, that this is what is going to happen. And come out of your comfort zone. Make a plan, okay? People say that we cannot do this. Dimple, we don't have time. Make up a daily routine. Make a general, make a write down the things, have a board there and write down what you do and keep your connection strong, meet people, talk to people and start with your family, friends, family and friends. Your family is always there to do this. Still you're feeling stressed, still, still that mental health is not there. I'll tell you what to do. This is what we do. You are still feeling stressful, right? After listening to this global conference, world leaders speaking about it, what you need to do. See what is happening in your body. What is happening? What sensation you're feeling in your body? See the feeling part of it. What are you feeling right now? Your muscle is tense, you're stressed. Your heartbeat is faster, not feeling good. Revise your self-talk. Say all the positive affirmations and things to you. No, I'm good. I'm relaxed. My body is fine. My neck is good. I'm feeling good. And listen to the music. Any music which you love. Read inspiring stories or I will say, make a jar, gratitude jar. Every day, whatever you are grateful for, put it in that jar, slip. One day, one slip. Next day, more slips. More, your jar will be filled in one week. Whenever you feel low, take out a slip from the jar. Open that slip and read. You are grateful that you are living, you are alive. So many people didn't get up. So many people not watching this conference. They are not there in this world, dear. You are listening to global people from all over the world. All thanks to Supriya. Say, feel thankful for what is happening. Small, small thankful. Oh, I'm looking good. I'm blushing today. I lost 100 grams of weight today. I'm happy. I'm learning something. I made a checklist. What these people shared. Oh, it's working. 
So list down what is giving you comfort. Is music giving you comfort? Is good sleeping giving you comfort? Everybody's comfort level is different. See your comfort zone. List it down. Make a daily routine. And please, please, please talk to your body. See the sensations. Feel it. Do this every day. I'm sure you don't need any therapist. I'm sure you don't need me. I'm sure you don't need anyone. And this music is going to give you a soothing sound. It's going to change your stress sensation. It's going to change your fear and you will fly like a bird. Still, if you think this is not going to work, then you have to reach out. Then you have to seek therapy. But there's nothing wrong in it. Still, things don't work. There's nothing wrong in it. Because the awareness is shifting global platform and there's nothing wrong to ask for help. It's a sign of your strength, not your weakness, right? Your confidence. So stay in touch with the people, start with your family, friends, notice your sensation, do what all we discussed in this webinar or in this session, in this conference. Love yourself, connect with yourself through meditation, self-talk and live the life you want. And stay happy. This is all you need. I was hearing Sushmita saying at that day, and she, there's nothing, there's no hope to find out something. If you're not doing today anything, that's fine. That's absolutely fine. If you feel like sleeping today and you don't want to be in a rat race, you don't want to be in, you know, doing this, that's perfectly fine. You're loving yourself. You're working on yourself. You're working on your mental health. So if you need to open that lock, the key is with you. The key is within you. That's what Sir said right now, Subo said. Go inside and find out. Still, if you need help, reach out for the therapy and there's nothing, nothing bad in it. But please, please take good care of yourself. Thank you so much. Wow, Dimple. Thank you, thank you, thank you for such a wonderful session. And trust me, we really, really feel that peace which we were craving for, even at least I was craving for. And it was so soothing that this three hours of conference, but still you peop your people love you and everyone who are present over here, all eminent dignitaries, personality, for showing such gratitude, love, affection, and their wisdom that has given an enlightenment this global conference. So ladies and gentlemen, as spring comes after winter, as seeds come after the strengthening, similarly, our global conference not end. Sweet beginnings, sweeter beginnings after a beautiful end, and learning is a continuous journey. So I thank everyone who supported us, who loved us these three years. Can you believe? Three years, but still we are full of energy, wisdom, learning, and we are still craving for learning. So heartfelt thanks to all the people, all the live audience, all the eminent speakers, everyone who made this global conference a successful conference. And of course, you'll be getting all your certificates today itself, your YouTube video. So let's head towards another beginning. Thank you. Thank you so much. And at last, thank you so much, Dr. Dragon, Mr. Donia Restoration, Dr. Srexa, for giving me this golden opportunity to be with you all. Stay happy. Hail and hearty. Bye-bye for now. Take care of yourself. Love yourself. And take care of your mental health being. Namaste once again from India. Thank mm -hmm. you.